This is Viso app. To get started, please click OK when this pop up. If you're using a standalone headset, make sure your headset and phone are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. To find your Quest's IP, put on your headset and access to Wi-Fi settings. To get this, then keep your headset awake. If you have two accounts on your headset, please log into your main account to get your IP address, and then you can switch back to your own account. Click OK on the pop-up to start scanning your IP address. Select the exact same IP on your Quest. If you're using PC VR, click Yes. Make sure the Wi-Fi is correct. To find your PC's IP, open the Wi-Fi settings to Properties. To get this, click Scan and OK to start scanning your IP address. Select the exact same IP on your PC. Next, select your height, and then click Connect. Your camera will start tracking your body. For PC VR users, if you followed the steps above and enabled OSC, but the Calibrate Full Body Tracking option does not appear in VR Chat, please try disabling the firewall settings on your Windows computer. Once everything is set up in the app, open VR Chat. Long press the B or Y button. Select Options, select OSC, and enable OSC. After enabling OSC, open the launch pad, and you should see Calibrate Full Body Tracking Options, not Sit or Stand. If you don't see this, please double check your previous steps. Now, stand in front of a mirror and click the Calibrate Full Body Tracking Options. Stand in a T pose. Make sure your phone camera can track your whole body and keep facing your phone. Press both trigger buttons on your controllers at the same time. Now your full body tracking works. If you notice that the trackers are sideways, or if you find that the avatar is severely distorted, please try using the auto center. To auto center, please click calibrate full body tracking. Then go to settings. Click auto center OSC trackers. You can test it with a kick. If the trackers move strangely, click Auto Center again until everything is good. Then make a T pose. Press both triggers to complete calibration. Then the tracking should be good. If you've tried Auto Center but the avatar still moves strangely, please try the following steps. Enable calibration visuals on the settings page. Then recalibrate. The blue lines indicate the trackers are considered to be which parts of the avatar. So you can see where the trackers are attached to the avatar. This is the normal case. The trackers are attached to their corresponding joint nodes. In this case, the hip tracker is attached to the knee. If we continue to calibrate, we'll find that the avatar's movements become very strange. In this case, the knee trackers are attached to the ankles. We'll find that the avatar's lower legs cannot move. Therefore, it's very important to attach the trackers to the right places. We can adjust the attachment position by adjusting the height in the app. Looking up and down in VR chat may also help. In general, the more accurately the trackers are aligned, the better the tracking effect will be. Hope you enjoy your full body tracking. Bye bye.